Welcome back, everybody. Beaverworks Diecast Racing with another unboxing. So I haven't done one of these for a little while. And this one's going to be for the Pebble Path. All right. So we got two premium big 4x4s right here. Why are we putting them down the Pebble Path instead of the Stoned Road? Well, we're going to explain that. But this guy could possibly do the Stone Road. This one... Not too sure. That's where we're going to try them out on the Pebble Path first. All to do about that low slung wheelbase. And just looking at them in the package. You know, it's got the big wheels, but that's pretty low. Doesn't have a lot of clearance. And Stone Road, because of the large hunks of rock, needs a little bit of clearance. Like, for instance, we run this guy before, and really, he doesn't have a whole lot. He's kind of low to the ground. The Baja Bug Premium. And just because that front end is so low in there, he gets hung up. And the stance is kind of low in there, so he got hung up a lot and didn't make it. Whereas one of our current record holders, this guy, oh, it doesn't even fit in the screen, look at that, nice. This dude, the big old Chevy Silverado, naturally because you got masses amounts of clearance in there, <clears throat> excuse me, does excellent on the stone road, it's a great time, and whipped right on down. Right, so. Just because of that clearance issue, we're going to give these guys a test run to see how well they do on the stone road. I mean, <clears throat> on the pebble path. And then, if they do any good, graduate them up to the stone road. What do you think? Good plan? All right. Let's get into these guys and check them out. First of all, with the uh, premium H1 Hummer. This is the H1, not the H2. So, been out for a little while. And a bit itching to get this guy out and play on the track. So, instead of the regular rip open that I do on most of these, I learned a new trick where you can come along with a razor blade and just outline the edge there. So that way we don't have to screw up the card art. Because sometimes the cards are really nice and I might actually put this thing back together again and actually display it like this because it's a model, a casting that I think is really cool. So what you can do there then is just lift it up, pop the vehicle out, card art is still there, blister pack is still there, and we get the cool truck. Now let's check that out. Boop. No. H1 Hummer. Apparently from the Fast and Furious. Hot Wheels Premium. Check it out. Look at that bumper. Look at that. What a great looking casting that is. And again, we have this thing with the narrow margin. On the front, look at that back. Look at that. Look at that badging. License plate, tail lights, even the filler cap. Great looking casting, eh? Not bad. Got some hood art, some venting. Stuff popping through the top. Hummer H1. There we go. All right. So we're going to try this guy out on the pebble path first. See what kind of time he gets. How he makes it. And going by that judgment, we're going to see if we're going to upgrade him to the stone road or not. Right? Right. Okay. Now let's move on to the other guy. Because he's a new one. And he's awesome looking. And I've been itching to get this guy out. Same trick. I've already... Cut the package so they're pre-cut, but I haven't had them out yet, so let's get into it. 
This one is a donation from a new team that's going to be on the track. We'll let you know about that. One of the first donations we got here. And look at that beautiful casting. Oh my gosh. Nice. I like it. Ford Bronco R. It's a pirate Bronco. It's R. <laughs> Great. Wicked looking casting, even the rule, the blue on the rule cage inside there, sneaking that in is tight. Look at that. The top art. Beautiful. They are been knocking it out of the park with the castings this last few years. Always have, but the detail work. Is just getting there. Even down to those little itty bitty tail lights. Beautiful. Nice job. There it is. Hot Wheels Ford Bronco R. Hot Wheels Premium from the coal car culture. There it is. All right. So. Those are the two that are going to be going down the Pebble Path this week for you folks. Boom and boom. And the little bit of uh, info there on why these guys are going down the Pebble Path first and not the Stone Road. Pretty cool. So let's get some uh, dimensions and stuff on this really quick. Let you check that out, and we'll see you on the Pebble Path Day. All right.